That's it. Pencils down, buddy. Pencils down? Pencils, Pencils down. down. This is it. Oh, my God. New ramble. January 1st. New year. 2020. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to all of... Who's even listening on Nobody. New Year's? Well, well, I guess this is a good day to be... You didn't kind of get over your party. Oh, I'm saying. Wait, you know what? Fuck it. Our New Year's Eve episode, we butchered it. Let's, did? Are you going to do it right? I'm going to look it up. You're going to do it proper? Oh, Auld like, Lang Scene. Auld Lang Scene. I mean, because we killed a Christmas album. Oh. I mean, imagine how many Christmas memories were made listening to that podcast around the Christmas tree opening present. What do you think? Rudolph the Pink-Eyed Reindeer. Oh, my God. Because he ate all that ass. Because he ate all that ass. Give me another mic check real quick. Check one, two. Oh, we're doing a mic check during the ramble. During the ramble. Wow. I don't know why. Starting the new year off great. It's just weird. How? All right, try it again. Check one, two. Check it. Yeah. Rudolph the pink guide. Reindeer, reindeer had a very shiny nose. Yeah, that, I mean, I think we did nothing but make memories. What do you think? Yeah. So. Yes. Should we try this? Yes. Should all acquaintance be forgot forgotten. and never brought to mind? Right. Should all acquaintance, acquaintance be, be forgot, forgot and all Auld Lang Sing? What does that even fucking I don't mean? know. For Auld Lang Sing, my, my Joe. Joe. For Auld Lang, Lang Sing, we'll, ta- we'll, we'll tack, tack a cup of kindness yet. Tack a cup of kindness Lang yet. And surely you'll be your print stop. Print stop? And surely Pint I'll stout? be mine? And we'll talk a couple of kindness <laughs> yet for Auld Lang Did the guy have a stroke when he wrote this? Yes. What the <laughs> I fuck think is going fell on? With their keyboard. We, we twa hey run, run about the braids and puddin' the goings fine. <laughs> We've we wandered. wandered Moni a weary foot. What and the old fuck sin- is this? Dude, someone fell asleep at their keyboard. We twa we Google translate I pie it? the the burn. We should Google translate it. I'm Googling. What does this even Auld Lang fucking scene. mean? Auld Lang Sing. Old acquaintance. What the same. Forgot and old. The short answer. What's Auld the short Lang is a title and key phrase of a 1788 Scots poem by Robert Byrne. Oh, it's Scottish. Typically sung on, typically someone who's with the phrase, likely translate to old long since and basically means days. Go- well, then just say that. Say days gone by. I mean, days what the fuck? By. You fucking morons! Whoever wrote uh, this shit, you dumb motherfuckers! It was written drunkenly by a Scotsman, Robert Burns, in seventeen eighty-eight. All right, and set to the tune of a traditional folk song, "Roud." It's wow. well known in many countries, especially in the English speaking world. Its traditions uh, used to being bid farewell to the old year at the stroke of midnight, New Year's Eve. By extension. It is also sung at funerals. Whoa. Ugh. Gradually. Ugh. Who's going to sing that at a funeral? Why the fuck would you do oh, that? Ba, ba, <laughs> de, ba, do, ba, do. Just hit Amazing hey, Grace and get out. Yeah, man. Oh, Grandma. And graduations. Day. A set of graduations, too. It's graduations. Uh, and as a farewell, farewell or ending to other... Okay, we should end every ramble. We should with an odd length <laughs> I mean, scene. Don't you think? Ooh, That's how we should get out of everywhere. That should be our New Year's sing. resolution. I'm agreeing with to you. To end here. with Auld Lang Singh. Um, let's see. Uh, the international scouting movement in many countries uses it to close jamborees and other functions. Jamborees? Yeah. The poem Scott's title, uh, old, uh, Long, Long Ago, Days Gone By, Old Times. Qu- consequently, for Auld Lang Singh, it appears the first line of the chorus might be loosely translated as for the sake of old times. Oh, for the sake of old times. Yeah. Right. I, who gives God. any of these shits? I mean, you know what, though? Like, yeah. No, this is, I mean. What? Now I was trying to find, whoa, shit. Um, this is, uh, wow. What? what? This is, whoa. All right. The Scots pronunciation. This is mean. What? I'm looking on Wikipedia. Okay. <laughs> they have the original Scott verse. Uh-huh. Okay. Should all the acquaintance be forgot? Yeah. Is the first line. That's the. And then on Wikipedia, it gives you the Scots pronunciation guide. As Sc- McGregor, are you listen to this. McGregor. McGregor, can you help me? It says, "Should all acquaintance be, be forgot." forgot? In and never, never br- 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 t- 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 
What She'd all the equate does this mean? Be forgot an odd lang scene. <laughs> well, I, was, I, got, I turned into Arnold Schwarzenegger. That was like, even better. <laughs> what old you set guy. us up. I like how uh, there's no real difference in verse four. <laughs> We twa high paid in the burn, and yet we twa high pet it in the burn. There's a we <laughs> too have paddled in the stream, stream from morning sun till dine. dine. But seas but between, seas us, between us, us broad have roared but see, since Auld Lang Seen. Man, I don't get who gives, right? And we just spent 45 minutes talking. Did we? Has if, it been 45 minutes? I think like we lost minutes. everyone. I, who's still with us? I think this, Andrea was wrong. It, this is this the one, is the that, one killed that, us. that kills the ramble. I think. Eight minutes of odd. Well, you know what? Because we got like 17 trillion subscribers after the Christmas album. Yeah, now we're probably. And this is lose. what we're following it up with. Yeah, it, it was a mistake. I, a smidge. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. Or well, do you have any? Uh, do you have any? Uh, it's New Year's. Do you have any resolutions? Do you God. do resolutions? Do I? Fuck. Do you do that? No, I don't. I, I just try to be a good person every year. Yeah. <laughs> you know how's I mean? that, does that work out? I hope. I hope. Do you have any? I mean, what do you uh, like? I, it's just, I'm not a big resolutions guy, but I I try to uh... resolution should be something a doctor gives you after like, look, you gotta quit doing this. You gotta stop. That's it. It shouldn't be any other. Like most people with resolu- resolutions, usually, generally, can we say it? Probably some shady motherfuckers. Yeah, you know what I mean. Probably some people that have done some fucked up shit. And maybe we don't need them. I don't know. What do you think? Probably. I mean, does that mean? Is well, you that have the whole, like, there? it's a, you feel like you're starting over with it being the first, the new year, so you feel like you right. can kind of shake off all the old shit and start new. Shake but it's it not really off. true, because it's just a construct that we've created. Right. You know, it's Tuesday to Wednesday. Yeah, That's all it is. It's like any other Tuesday to Wednesday. And I know it's cliched to make fun of it, but, like, who the fuck? Nobody goes, nobody lives up, lives up to it. No. Nobody says, oh, you know, you know, hey, guess what? I really did stop eating chocolate. Nobody fucking does that. <laughs> I did work out every day. I did do it. I went to the gym every day. Like, I started going to the gym uh, a few, like, a year ago. Yeah. I've been religiously going. This is the only week I'm taking off yeah. in the past eight months. Right? Yeah. Of just basketball, some kind of cardio. Yeah, something to move around. At least three or four. Let's try to move. Right. And it's like, and then, yeah, that's it. Just get some basketball in, maybe a little bit of weights, nothing too crazy, no bullshit. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's it. You going to try out for a team? I might. Yeah. I might. What position would you play? Wide receiver. (laughs) (laughs) So you play a lot of basketball? Yeah. Yeah. Wide receiver, I think. Wide receiver. Uh. <laughs> Here's the problem. Like, what? I'm not like it's. How do I put it? Like going to just any like whatever court in America, yeah. out in the open. Yeah, I might be able to be. Yeah, that guy was all right. At this fucking 24 hour fitness here, you everyone got a, you got a bunch of people thinking they're. Uh... They know. There was a, I was playing with the guy there who plays professionally in the Philippines. Oh no! You know what I mean? And this is in the uh. off season. So they, these people, they just they are beyond good. You know what I mean? Are they, they just good, or are they also super competitive, or it doesn't make it fun? Just because you can play with good people and still have fun. Just good. One guy that would the best was you could tell this dude was a pro player because he had no interest in a pickup game. You know what I mean? He was like, I'm just, I'm, I'm here to work on my skills. People were asking him like, hey, you want, and he looked at everyone's like, yeah, I'm about, he was like six, five. Oh, you know what I mean? He's like, and you guys just, would all hate me if I played this. Exactly. Like you were just going to hate me. Yeah. So let me just work. Them. I'm not going to play with these. You know what I mean? Like these. Yeah. The guy with, yeah. the, I don't uh, want, I don't want one of you fucking five, 10 motherfuckers <laughs> to foul me hard because you're sick of this 60th point. I've just thrown exactly. up. This guy was like, he w- he walks in and it's like, you know, yeah, there's just some, you know, like just chubby white dude in a Rick and Morty t-shirt. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm good. I, I think I uh, fucking gives him a bloody fucking nose. Right. Like, I, I'm I, this is not really my level, but I was shooting this and I don't I don't understand where this came from, but I was honored. This he, I guarantee he was a pro. He must be playing pro somewhere or yeah. was just like really good in college or whatever. But he was just taking it, it. You could tell because he was doing the exact same shot for like 40 times. Yeah. And it, and I think he missed twice. Just repetition, repetition, and repetition. And missed two times. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, that yeah. I saw. It was, and they were like, oh, we just kind of got unlucky bounce that. You know what I mean? It was still close. And then he sees me. I'm off in the corner just shooting a couple of corner threes. Yeah. And I was trying to do that thing where, like, you're in the back corner, so you kind of have to go over the rim. Yeah, yeah. Over the backboard, I mean. Yeah, you have yeah. to kind of go over the And he saw me shoot one. He goes, no, nah, no. Nah. He goes, hey, man. He goes, don't stop till you make 10. And I was like, what? And he just I'll be started. here all night. <laughs> and he just, I'm just shooting, and he's just rebounding and tossing it to me. And he was like, nah, put a little bit more lift right there. And then I was like, dude, I thought I was going to be there till 5 in the morning. But it took like three minutes, and I made te- just by him telling me how to do it. You know, he's like, "No, no, man, like this." And I was just like, "Oh shit!" Like, Damn. Cr- that's I was like, "This you just gotta get coached up." That's, that's your problem. It. That's, <laughs> that's the only thing holding you back. You're not coached up. No, that's how good that guy was. <laughs> like through osmosis, I I was able to not look horrifically. Inc- so Eleven if, minutes. Eleven minutes. Yeah, we're into the ramble. But yeah, I mean. It's dude. So if that guy got a hold of you, say when you're 12, you're in the NBA right now. I'm JJ Barea. No, <laughs> no question. question. No question. No doubt. I'm you're wearing JJ. a Mavs jersey right yes, now. Yes, I'm JJ Barea. And you're looking towards the playoffs. How before we? St- how sad is that for us? JJ Barea is like five four, and he's won a ring. He started the championship series after game one. Yeah. And has a ring yeah. and was a competent, very important player on a yeah. championship five, roster. Four. All, you just have to end, work yeah. hard. That's all that guy I did. look at people. I look like Drew Brees. I'm look like, at Drew Brees. He's like five foot ten, and He's a, the greatest passer in the history of the game. I mean, my God. Broke all the records. He's broke all, he still didn't make the top. That... I don't know if you've been paying attention to the NFL. I don't watch any of that shit. They did the because uh, they're just all going to be Chuck McNardick. Like that's all. Well, it's they, gonna did be. The, they did. They did the hundred best players in the hundred years of the NFL. Right. Who's and number one? And they're doing ten players from each. They're not doing like that. They're doing ten player, ten positions. Oh, okay. Each, all right. Each, so they did the. They just did the top ten quarterbacks Who's of all one? Brady. Hundred. Brady's in there. It's like Sammy Ball. Who was number one? They didn't rank him in that way. They just sort of like these are the top be- these are the ten best quarterbacks to play in the first hundred years. Oh, uh, okay, okay. And it was okay, like okay. Uh, the only current ones. Uh, Tom Brady was the only current one playing. It was like Montana, Brady, uh, Sammy Ball, Montana, and then I think they fucking had Favre in there, but not Drew Brees. Not Drew Brees. Drew Brees has all the passing records. Every one of them. Every single one of them. More than Manning. More than Marino. More, Manning was in there too. And he has all of them. He has all. He has more passing yards than anybody. He's got more uh, touchdowns than anybody. Jesus. And he's got a Super Bowl ring. Dude. He's got all of Favre's records, plus the same amount of Super Bowl rings. Why is Favre in there? That's it. Look, greatest most overrated quarterback of all time. Seven. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. I still hate that stupid. I'm going to pretend to throw it after I hand it off. That makes. Oh, oh God. I just. <laughs> oh fuck. That most overrated move. quarterback Jesus of all Christ. time. Yeah. Almost, if we have uh, any Green Bay Ramblers, sorry. Boy, are they hopping mad. But hey, he Aaron Rodgers isn't overrated. No. Aaron Rodgers is one of the greatest quarterbacks. He should be on that list before Favre. No question. I would take Rodgers over Favre any day of the week. Favre Man, was just a pick machine. That was it. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that guy. That guy That guy with the teams he had and the ability he had yes. should have had three Super Bowls. No question. No question. You'd fucking let Horse Teeth Elway win one. <laughs> Everybody beat Elway, but you guys couldn't beat you him. You couldn't beat him. You beat. It Come was on. funny. It was funny. Uh, may he rest in peace. But there's a really funny comic in Dallas named Doug Richardson who just passed away a couple of couple of weeks ago. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, and, but Doug, I started with. I, he was actually I started right after he was already. And there was this another comic who sadly is also no longer with us. Guy named Billy, really great dude. But uh, Billy was a massive Favre guy, oh. and Doug didn't even know. He didn't even see Billy. We were hanging out backstage before the show started in yeah. Dallas at, 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 at the Backdoor Comedy Club. And um, Doug just walks up to me because Doug was a mega. He's from Dallas his whole life. Yeah, yeah. Huge cowboy fan. And he, he just walks up and he goes, oh, come on, man. There's no fucking way Troy would let that fucking horse face, horse tooth piece of shit beat him. <laughs> Troy wouldn't have let that motherfucking John Elway beat him. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Sims didn't. That or, uh, guy got Jeff so Hostetler mad. Didn't. Oh god, Doug Williams didn't. No, 
Troy they, Aikman didn't. No, they, there's no way any of those guys None of those lose guys. to Elway. None of those guys lose Joe to Montana Elway. Joe Montana didn't let there's him. There's no chance those dudes lose to Elway ever. If they rematch, they still crush him. Yeah. It's just if the Cowboys went up against the Broncos, the 90s Cowboys. They Everybody took, beat Elway. That is a squash. Everybody. It, it, oh, God. It would have been a squash. It, it just. Fuck, man. That is so. I, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm going to ignore it because it's going to be all Pittsburgh Steelers from the 1930s. That's every. It's just that's all it's going to be. Every. Well, I think they're making a concerted effort to have people from like every generation, every which is dumb. time frame. Which is look. Let me tell you. Look. No offense to all of our Caucasian ramblers, <laughs> but in the days before the yeah, African American no. was allowed look, to play, I'm a huge Redskin fan, right? And Sammy Ball was on that list, right? There's and no there's way. no way you put Sammy Ball in today's NFL. He's dead in five seconds. He doesn't make the team. <laughs> no. He's not even carrying a clipboard. He is dead. He's dead, man. He's... One, he's probably uh, in the newspapers for saying the N-word in the locker room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no question. Because that was just tossed around freely. What are these guys? What are these doing in here? Like, that's in the first. Don't we have separate locker rooms? What's, what's going on here? I, this guy, is, I have to take a bath next to I have to shower next I'm not showering with you. We got to share a water fountain? <laughs> what's this? Wow. <laughs> I gotta stare at this dick. <laughs> oh, is there this giant cock that I can never get anywhere close to? Like it, that's that is like those dudes. Man, these guys got big dicks. <laughs> that's his only thing. He's got. Maybe that's why we don't like them. Is it fear? <laughs> I think it might be intimidation and fear. Well, it might be jealousy. Like th- those dudes. Any one of those fucking old Pittsburgh Steelers from the sixties, yeah. they get destroyed yeah. now. I don't care. Don't tell me Russell Wilson can't wouldn't just beat out Y. A. Tittle. Oh, my. Oh, <laughs> Why Tittle doesn't start? If you're in a quarterback competition between Russell Wilson and Why Tittle, it's Russell Wilson is starting Kellen every game. Kellen Moore beats Y A Tittle. And like, are you kidding? Pick the who is the dumb? Who is the <laughs> any third? The third stringer on the Bengals beats that guy. There's no fucking way. It's just things have evolved far too much. No, no there's a picture of Y A Tittle with a bloody nose playing. And, like, he's, and he looks like he's 85 yeah. in that picture. He's fucking got male pattern baldness in his 20s. Oh, right, okay, that picture of Y A Tittle. I forgot what player did that. Yeah. Fucked him up like yeah. That. If it was Lawrence Taylor, the picture is of a sheet over oh, his body. There's a stretcher with a sheet <laughs> over it, and everyone's standing around with their helmets off. Like, oh, fuck. Like, fuck, dude. Someone died. He died on the field? <laughs> he killed him. Oh, my God, he killed him. That's Lawrence Taylor. <laughs> We're not – okay, uh, let me – okay, and I as much as I hate the Steelers, Yeah. Uh, how many pick sixes – if Paul Amalu's on the opposite end of Y.A. Tittle. Y.A. Tittle's pulled in the first quarter of whatever game he's playing against what Paul Amalu. Because he's thrown um, however many, many pass attempts he's had, it's how many interceptions he's thrown. Imagine Deion Sanders. Imagine Deion Sanders. <laughs> okay, you put Deion Sanders in any game before 1974. And he scores 14 touchdowns a game. Oh, he returns every punt for a every touchdown. Punt. Every punt is a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. He picks off every pass thrown every near him, is- and he returns every punt for every he touchdown. Play- he scores. Every kickoff is a touchdown return. <laughs> he has a- every pass is a pick six, and then he's on offense, and he catches like If Deion touchdowns. Sanders is playing back then, they eliminate the forward pass. It, ha- it, can't it becomes a running game. And then they just toss it to him five yards behind the line of scrimmage. And he scores every play. And it's over. You put Barry Sanders in the 1920s. No one's tackling him. No one. Nobody. (laughs) Who's that fucking who's the fucking guy from the Steelers, that middle linebacker? Uh what's his one? I don't know. One of the ones that or Harrison? No, who's the or the Packers? Middle linebacker. Reggie White? No, no, the, no, no, the old white guy from like the 60s. Oh, yeah, the Nitschke. Ne- Nitschke, Ray Nitschke. Ray Nitschke. Ray Nitschke. You put him trying to tackle Barry Sanders? He commits suicide. <laughs> he quits the game. He, hey, you thought Jackson blew up fucking Bosworth? Imagine. Nitschke doesn't sniff Barry Sanders. No, it is just... <laughs> it's like it's, he just he's, he lunges and he's covered in mud and Barry Sanders is scoring a touchdown. Every looks, time. It looks like... When Ray and Kylo Ren are fighting Snoke's dudes, yeah, and that guy falls into that yeah. fucking and, and just, just and, and then, just a tattered uniform <laughs> shoots back up. That's all that's left. That's Nitschke right. every play against every Barry play. Sanders. Every play, he against- comes diving in. <laughs> Barry Sanders does that back spin and then goes around <laughs> him, and Nitschke flies into the dirt. Bo Jackson kills him and quits the game. Bo Jackson murders oh. him. It just it's. 
Buck ja- Bo Jackson just steamrolls him. But ever oh, Nick, they would have brought him down. They buck, 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 buck. No. Fuck off. He tackled another slow old white running back yeah. who ran like a 5 3 40. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> it just. It, it. Patrick Mahomes against Bart Starr? Stop. I mean, come Stop. on. Uh, b- <laughs> Imagine. It's- ba- Bart Starr would show up late to practice, watch Mahomes throwing drills, and be like, well, I can't play this I game. I can't. <laughs> and he would leave. This is evolved. Far quicker than I expected. I mean, you can throw it more than thirty yards. Both Bosa's kill him. Oh. Both Bosa brothers in the yeah. backfield. He's no. dead. No. I mean, imagine Richard Sherman playing against any of those. It just destroy. Mid, like seventy-two. Yeah. Is like uh, seventy. Darrell Revis. 70. <laughs> the seventies from the seventies on. Yeah. They have a chance. Yeah. They you have a made, fighting chance. You have a fighting chance. Anyone from the fifties back? No. No chance whatsoever. Those people shouldn't be considered in the anything, same league anything as anyone from the 70s up the, no way they just get slaughtered. and i would even go almost mid 80s up nowadays i would almost God. go mid 80s up yes nowadays it's could you couldn't no one in that time area could play right in the, the nfl from 85 on stop x neutered because he would get like eight extra yards on a slide they wouldn't allow that no. you know what i mean like there, there's just no. no i mean no i would yeah Fuck. There's just no chance. No anyway, chance. There's... Chandler Jones destroys oh my Roger Starbuck. Oh, my God. It's, it's not just, even. It is. Not even. It's a, it, You can't. <laughs> Quincy Carter beats fucking Bart Starr. <laughs> I mean, Quincy Carter walks in the same locker room as Bart Starr in the 50s or whatever. The Packers. You never hear of Bart Starr. No. It's, a, well, we it's the legend of Quincy Carter. This guy ran for 700 yards as a quarterback. <laughs> that's, that's you never hear Bart Starr. No, He's working at a Denny's. Yes, that, uh, well, almost. <laughs> and just oh, so racist too. So bitter racism too. <laughs> after that, oh man, <sighs> should we even play the song? Is oh yeah, I guess we should. 20, 20, 21 minutes, fifty six seconds, and yet we're still here doing it for you. <laughs> As you can tell, it's a holiday episode. Hmm. And sing along if you know the words and have a good one. Yeah. Right? I think I did this last year. Did you? All is quiet on New Year's Day. It's fitting, right? Yeah, that's cool. The world in white gets turned away. I want to be with you, be with you, night and day. Nothing changes on New Year's Day. I No fucking sense. Mm-mm. But mm. we're one of the few bands who could translate it. Mm. All right, there we mm. go. Mm. Burn. <laughs> Here we are, everybody. Welcome to Ramble number 213, Eddie. We did it. We did it, guys. We made it. Here's why that was such a long intro. Why was it? Well, because this is not going to be it. We're already halfway done with this yeah. ramble. <laughs> because it's New Year's Day. You are technically out of town. Yeah. I'm technically, uh, we're technically out, yeah. So we apologize to, first off, we got to apologize to uh, um, the winner of our trifecta who has gotten Dippo. Uh, Patrick. Big, Patrick has gotten a big, Patrick, big get bowl the of shaft nothing. Patrick, Carruthers. Isn't he, though? That's not good. No, it's not. We need to. We need to do better. That's our New Year's resolution. We need to We need really... to do better to the winners of the, of the what's it called? The trifecta. The trifecta. Patrick Carruthers is just sitting there in Ohio like, what the fuck, guys? What the he fuck? He needs it. He needs what First off, to... Patrick, happy New Year's to happy you, Happy New my Year's friend. to you and all the Ramblers. And yes, and we are going to get this to you before 2021. Yes. We have, it's just like a wedding. We have a year after the wedding to get you the gift. The gift. So what we're going to do is oh, I'm going to call it now. When Eddie gets back from his trip... I'll be back in town on the 8th, 8th. of will, January. We're going to meet up on the 9th, maybe? We're going to meet up on the 9th, maybe. He will hand me a signed copy of his... Of maybe something cool. Maybe. Don't want to spoil we, no, it. No, when I give out... Yeah, and something. And then it will be in the mail. So, like, middle of January... You'll get it. Because then you're going on the road the next week. I'm go- I'll am be at the Lake Tahoe Improv. Yeah. The January World famous Lake Tahoe Improv. Harvey's. And then I'll be Eddie and I will be doing Irvine 
The improv. Yeah. In Irvine, January 22nd. And they'll be at Wise Guys, Jordan Landing in Salt Lake City, uh, January 31st yes. through February 1st. And I am so excited about the artwork that you're doing. Yes, it's going to be dope. Should I announce what I want to do with YouTube, or should I even say this yet? Why not? You can announce it. It's January 1st. Eddie is going out there. Eddie is doing some killer artwork for me. I'm going to start a YouTube thing where I talk about retro video games. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. That's it. Get it out there. It's People need like to know. Each video is going to be, be like... out. It'd be out by now, but I'm being I'm slack on the artwork. No, I still I only have like four of them taped. Okay, so I'm gonna wait till I have like ten. But the holidays have been cramped, so I'm trying cramped. to get the artwork done. No, I'm done. mad at you. I ain't even. I hope I'm not pressured. No, no. I hope I have a bit. No, I mean I do call you every day and go, uh, "Geez, Eddie, where's that artwork?" <laughs> Which is maybe rude of me. No, it's it's. It, I don't mind the calls. It's the thirty or forty texts I get a day. Is that what bothers That's you? That's a little yeah. annoying. Shit. So I've kind of had to block you on my phone, but that's yeah. fine. I mean, it happens, it right? Happens. It happens. But um, I'll get it to you. It's the only reason get... you're not going to kill me is because it would you would break your son's heart. Yeah, because he likes you more than he likes me. Right. I'm his best friend. Basically. I mean, Basically, he loves you. I'm okay. And he likes you. He likes me when you're not around. Right. When you're around, I don't exist. Except he got mad at me for taking his popcorn. Oh, yeah. He got mad. We went to see Rise of Skywalker for the second, second time, time a couple week week and a half ago, probably. And Colton made a fun move. He grabbed some of my put right. couple of my kernels. I said, motherfucker, I grabbed you some grabbed of his. You grabbed some of his. I well, grabbed more. Well, this was also because before we went we went into the theater, he was mad I got him the small popcorn. Already not in a good mood. Instead of the medium popcorn. Be- only because I knew him. You're his dad. And I've taken him to movies before and I've bought him the popcorns. The large. And he's never eaten the full medium popcorn. He before. cannot finish a medium. He can't finish, but he wants it every time. He wants the large. So this time well, he wants the medium. Oh, and he never finishes a meal. So you're like, get a small. So dude. I'm like, dude, we're getting. The... So I, I don't even ask him or say. I just ordered the small, give it to him. Right. He's pissed from the get go because you have the big bucket. Right. And, and he he's got, the, he's got brothers. the small. He wanted me. Him he wants me to. to be he wants to be like you. Blood brothers. So he's pissed popcorn. from the concession stand into the movie theater. Yes. He said some really awful things about you and Tracy. Yes. Let's just say it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I mean, he said some anti-Semitic things. A lot and, of anti-Semitic things. <laughs> <laughs> Is that natural just because he's blonde hair, blue eyes? I think eyes? so. I think that it's just not... comes out. When he's tired? Yeah. Meekenstein, flint, fluke, and tutenstein. So we go in there, and he's already grumpy. He was pissed. And then he's he's still joking around because it's you. Right. And so he takes a couple kernels of your popcorn. And I take a handful. And, and you take a handful. I, reta- I Look, my you problem retali- is... You go big or go home. He Pearl Harbors, yeah. I Hiroshima Nagasaki. That's yeah. my, You know what I mean? He bombs a couple airplanes and battleships. You wipe out hundreds of thousands of innocent civilians. <laughs> That's my problem. That's what you do. That's you carpet bomb the whole fucking place. He hits you with a BB gun. You carpet bomb with napalm. I l- hey. That's what you do. You know what happened? I think the problem was... He uh, has he ever seen Untouchables? No, that's why he didn't understand. Yeah, it. see, right? Yeah, he'd understand that. You come, he brings a life, you bring a gun, he puts a real hospital, he put one of his in the morgue. That's the Chicago way. That's he doesn't know the Chicago he doesn't way. Know the Chicago. That's that's the problem, right? So, he you took like a handful of his, and he was, I've never right. seen, I've never seen him be mad at you. He didn't take it out on me, either. no, he took it out on me. Yeah, he couldn't get mad at me, he can't get mad at you, so he angry, he directs it at me. And he's pissed. You know what it was? What? You, I was Palpatine. You were Mace Windu. He was Anakin. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, he's too dangerous to live. And then he's like, no. I, nope. Sorry. I and gotta he blame. kills me. And I'm just like. <laughs> and he lets you live. So That's exactly. That's how that goes. <laughs> Good times. Yeah. But the funny part was. And I think he learned because we both broke his balls about how he still had like two thirds left of his medium popcorn yeah. after the when we movie. leave the movie theater. There's still like two thirds at the and bottom. We're like, Whoa, look at this tantrum you threw. Oh, my God, dude. And he's like, oh, yeah, that was yeah. kind of dumb of me, huh? Parenting. Man, that's got to be. It's hard raising the kid, uh, two, two men raising a child. It is for the two of us. Yeah. It's tough. We get a lot of looks. My two, my two dads reboot, you and me. <gasps> yes. Why not? Why not? It launched Paul Reiser. I don't know what happened to the other guy, but what you happened know. to the other guy? The other I don't guy. know. He probably me too. I had such a crush on that daughter. Oh, I thought you said you had such a crush on that guy. Paul Reiser? No, the other dude. Yes. The dude didn't make it. Absolutely. Who was the girl's? I'm looking that up. I had such a crush. 
All right. Well, should we inform everybody since this is a non traditional ramble? We're not yes. doing any of the uh, top no 10. List, so open, get... close, encore. And here's the bad news or the good news, depending on how, how much you want to get that Rise of Skywalker, <laughs> Weird Al Yankovic hat, and <laughs> Ghostbusters open, close, encore concert. Yeah. That won't be till Ramble 215. Yes. T- Ramble 213 and Ramble 214 are going to be non traditional rambles. Don't not listen. Yeah. Do- come please on, guys. don't be like, oh, well, fuck this. Because Eddie is going to be out of town. Yes. And this is the only... T- we, are, we are marathoning this. We have marathoned. We should talk about it. We should... I know on the Ramble Radio video, even though it's video, but it's right, radio. But yeah. We talked about how they were all different days. But let's be honest. This is our fifth let's, recording. We need to tell them what we're doing right now. What we are doing. I had a show at Flappers. Yes. Um, comedy I, Club. Comedy Club. In Burbank. In Burblank. Burblank. Which is Burblank. Which Burblank. is <laughs> like eight minutes away from me. Yeah. So I do that show. This is Sunday night. 9.30, you're on the 9.30 show. Saturday night, I'm on the 9.30 show. This Saturday is Sunday night. night, December 29th. I'm there tonight. Okay, you're there on the 29th. <laughs> I think we might just go till it's my... We maybe July. should do, do right. that. So I go and do the show. I come over right. here. I get here like 10.30, 11 yes. o'clock. I get here 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock at night. I'm going out of town Tuesday. Tuesday. So we know we owe the Ramblers... Content. Content. That's what we do. We owe you guys because I'm going out of town up until. Sorry, we love you. Sorry, guys. We owe you all this free content. <laughs> because we love you. So I, we have to, on our docket, we have four Ramble Radio four. Video Radios. Four. And two Rambles. Two. That's six. Six. Episodes of content. We are taping in one night. We are marathoning that. Six. It is now. We started at 11. It is 1.30 one tw- in the morning. 1.30 in the morning. And we're <laughs> almost done with the first Ramble. We've put the four Ramble Radio Video Radios in the can. How strong are we going right now? Pretty strong. I could do six more. I, yeah. We should keep, I'm saying we should just keep going. We should do the whole year's worth of rambles tonight. Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we only got to do, what, 52 of them? 52 hours. We can do it. Not even. 52, 40, since they're not traditional, 52, yeah. 45 we'll just, minutes. We'll knock out 52 rambles right now. Right now. That's 52 hours. Knock them out in two days. We're done. Two days. Done for the year. Game over. That's it. But we didn't want you guys to go without the content. Right. Because we couldn't provide it. Because our schedules aren't our matching schedules up right now. fucked up this time of the year. Yeah. Like it should be. Like it should travel. We well, got fi- a better plan this, though, for next year. Yeah, we should do something else. Right? We need to figure out how we're going to... We still do it. Yeah. But maybe figure out... Do it out, over a couple like, days. I think we should... Yeah. Couple, maybe not marathon it Maybe in one not night. marathon it in one night, but... Boy, we still are have we, another ramble after this. Are we going to be free and easy, though? So, the rest just of the coasting week? for two weeks. Two weeks of just... No, I got to worry about nothing. And all you guys got to do is sit back and watch the content pour into your ears. Right. What right. are we going to name this? We have to call it something. Oh, yeah. I think it's the, what was it? Uh, Quincy Carter retires Bart Starr? <laughs> you think? <laughs> if Quincy Carter plays in the 60s, no one knows who Bart Starr is. Is that the title? I think, here we go. All right. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I got to type that out. Okay. <laughs> is that when Bart Starr played? He played in the 60s, right? Yeah. Yeah, 60s. <laughs> Because you don't hear. You don't hear of him. No you don't. Way. No. If Quincy Carter played in the 60s, no one knows. If Lamar him. Jackson plays football in the NFL in, say, the 1940s, if he's allowed to play in <laughs> well, the NFL, in the 19- if he's allowed, then what happens is they go, okay, we can't keep playing this we game. We can't. This, what the fuck? We have to just, okay, we're going to have to come up with a new one. Imagine the popularity hockey gets. Oh my god! At that point, right? That's America's pastime. Hockey, just okay. Fuck it, we got. We're doing it. hockey, man. We're doing hockey. No question. Oh, Jesus! So in two weeks, real quick, have Luka, your all Luka your stuff. Doncic plays basketball in the forties. Oh, does he score a hundred a game? Yeah, LeBron probably scores a hundred and fifty. You put a game. LeBron in like the nineteen thirties or forties for basketball. He scores, when did basketball start? When did the NBA probably, start? Probably the forties, forties, fifties. Those Minneapolis Lakers. You put LeBron in Hoosiers. If you put Hoosiers, never beat LeBron. Oh God, they never, they never go to states and face that. Look, they face, if, they, if there was a LeBron on that team that the Hoosiers faced in that movie in states finals. Could you imagine the the blowout? <laughs> they try to run that white picket fence. Imagine how uncomfortable the audience is <laughs> watching that. Everybody's crying. Just <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna put this out there. Okay, right now. All right. <laughs> the the Minneapolis Lakers of the 40s and 50s. Yeah. 
if all five of that starting lineup yeah. against you, me, LeBron, and Colton. Oh. <laughs> I mean, we still win. By 30. By 30. By 30. <laughs> By 30, easy. Uh, midway through the second quarter, LeBron is getting his own rebounds <laughs> and just giving it to Colton. Is like, oh, go ahead. Colton's shoot one down under the under the hoop right and he's just throwing it up maybe making it maybe not but by that point lebron's back down there grabbing the rebound and dunking <laughs> just it. dunking it like look, there's a few plays where lebron just carries colton and lets him dunk it like that happens like maybe three times <laughs> how right i mean you me colton four on four five on four it's just not us, even, colton and not LeBron. even close it's not even it's close. not even close <laughs> I mean, no shot clock. I mean, how wide open are we oh my on the God. perimeter? <laughs> Not saying we're going to knock down. We are wide open at the free throw line. <laughs> I mean, it is just. <laughs> he I looks... mean, I may make one out of ten, but I'm making one out of ten. <laughs> like, I'm wide open for that one. Every time. Every time. And you know who's getting And he's rebounds. getting all the other nine you know rebounds. Who... And you know he's getting every rebound. <laughs> he's grabbing them and then dunking them. So it's basically like I'm shooting 10 for 10. It's, it's just not even close. <laughs> the squall. Oh He's God. probably grabbing them out of the air and alley-ooping them into the net. <laughs> into the net to himself. I'm shooting them like it's a three. He's grabbing it and dunking <laughs> it. Okay, got it. <laughs> I'll get it there quicker. Okay, here, just let me just do this. LeBron maybe plays 10 minutes, and we're up 250. He plays, he plays five minutes a quarter, a period. That's all we need. That's all we need. The rest is just He the gives us like a 25-point lead. They start whittling back. <laughs> he comes back in the Colton. second period. <laughs> they start whittling back. I because we know. can kill the shot clock a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like we're not there's just no getting and shooting clock. it. There's no. Shot oh, there's clock. no shot clock. So we're just holding the ball. We're just passing it to each other. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> An absolute ass whip. Yeah. Just not even no, I uh, mean, come not on. This is top. And LeBron's only got to pay 20 minutes for the whole game. That's it. He, Five minutes, minutes a period. Imagine the easy life. Imagine the living. longevity of his, his career. His, oh, if we God. all if, if if the organization keeps us together. Oh, forget it. Forget it. If we don't get big heads about us and want bigger <laughs> contracts, <laughs> and we realize that we have the meal ticket with LeBron, and we all just take less pay to stay there. Ten championships in a row? 20. E 20. As long as LeBron plays. If we start whenever the NBA started up until like the 60s Celtics, if yeah. we can, you know what I mean? Yeah. At least. As long right? as he plays, we're winning championships. That's, it's just. Keep us intact. <laughs> it's not close. No. No. It, it's, uh... it's not close. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> it is. Oh, yeah. Forget it. There's just no way. Man. Um, so any? Uh, do you have any resolutions? Are you gonna do anything for this mm, thing? He's just trying to be a better person, you know. That's all I gotta do. Try to work harder. Try to like. Try to like. I've been trying to do this. Yeah. Ever since like, because uh, I've been so busy since like August with those with the swings and misses show yeah, and the Ralph report, and then trying to get all the content for this done. Yeah. So just trying to like, because I noticed I've never been this busy before. Is you it know? good? It's a good thing, but yeah. I've never been this busy, and I'm just trying to figure. To manage my time better so I yes. can sort of enjoy what I'm doing. Right. Instead and not of just, be like, oh, fuck this. Again. I got to go do this. Let right, me get right, this right. done yeah, so yeah, I can do course. this. Just trying to enjoy what I'm doing and being able to know how, how fortunate I am to be able to make money doing what I'm doing. Yeah. And being able to. It's not bad, huh? Put these, pla do like, have fun and entertain people on these different platforms that I've been able to, And all the fans bad. that the people have followed onto this show and Swings and Misses and all oh, the Ralph Report the people, the Garmy, like all those people. The best. And support us and just sort of like being able to appreciate that. I yeah, think that's a cool I, that's thing. That's not bad. That's good. That's good. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do the same thing. Just still try not be a dick. Yeah. Right? Fucking try to do this little video game thing. Yeah. Um, we have a little, Eddie and I are, are having a little sketch thing that we're going to do. Yeah. On Instagram and Twitter only. A little 30 yeah. second videos that uh, Eddie is the voice of a director. Yeah. And I Because Instagram, that's, all, that's the only credit you need now to headline comedy clubs. <laughs> Just so, Instagram. Just in case you guys are Instagram. wondering. In case you didn't listen to the last one. Last Instagram, Ramble Radio. Ramble Radio, even though it's video, but it's that's, radio. That's a legitimate credit now. It's a legit credit. Um, 
you know, uh, and again, and I'm sorry to do this, but just in case there's new ones, shout outs to everybody. Shout outs to everybody. We love you all. And we really mean it. And we will get back to normal, regular rambles. Very soon. Very soon. I think the 15th? 15th. The Ramble 15 will be do uh, Weird Al Yankovic uh, Hall of Fame hat. What would the Ghostbusters concert open, close, and encore with? And the top ten Rise top of Skywalker Top ten Rise moments. of Skywalker moments. So you, and you have know what? time. The more I see the movie, the more I like it. I, if not for anything, more than out of spite. Out of spite to the more. You know, can I tell you something that what? I... Okay, can I tell you something embarrassing that I just noticed? By the way, we're at 99 ratings and reviews. Yes! How about that? That's 99. nice. I like that. Um, 99. Oh, well, look, Wolverine's got Puck pressed up against the he, glass. Well, I don't like know what's going on He's giving it to him hard like in the shower. That's like, it's yes, like a shower that's fuck. That's what that is. That is that's a oof. shower fuck. That's a, that's a that's the first time spanking it on Cinemax <laughs> fuck that you're watching right there. <laughs> what was... Oh, you know what I just noticed? What? I saw it a third time today because my little... Oh, Rise of Skywalker? He hadn't seen it yet. Okay. So he went. Not even a big Star Wars fan. He's more yeah. Marvel. Yeah, yeah. Really liked it. Yeah. He was like, I don't, well, I don't know why everybody Colton saying. loved it. He was, like, why is it? he was just like, why is everybody talking? Because there's angry nerds out there for oh, no reason. Is. You know what I loved? They want to hate shit. You know what I loved? What? That I didn't notice? What? The I love you, I know callback. When? When was that? You didn't notice it either. When I, was that? He noticed it. When was it? Andrea noticed it. Fucking when... Kylo throws his lightsaber. He becomes Ben Solo, and he goes, "Dad," and then he goes, "Oh, I know, I know." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was okay. like, "Oh, I, it." The first two I times, know. I didn't catch it. Fuck, dude. I didn't even. catch I also it. noticed the one thing. I caught this, this the third time I saw. I saw it with Colton Christmas night. Yeah, we went and saw it like late night because we were bored. And uh, when Kylo, when Ben is going to stay, when he when he's running back, yeah, to meet up. Uh, with Ray to fight Palpatine, and he yeah. and he before he gets surrounded by the Knights, the, uh, of, Ren. The Knights of Ren when yeah. he's running and he's got the blaster and he's shooting troopers. The no look, he does the no look, which yeah. is the call back to Han from Force Awakens. Yes, the no look, boom. That whole thing, he was he was he was Harrison Ford. He, he was, was Han Solo. The little the little shrug yeah. he does when he gets the saber. But I did that whole dad. And I then, know, I know. I was like, I know. I thought he was going to say, "I'm sorry." That's what I thought. And then I was like, oh, duh. You're saying I love it's, you. I love you. I know. I know. Fuck. How great. That makes it's it a great movie. better. It's that a good movie. It it took, I'm sorry, guys. I've seen it three times, and I like it every time I see it. And I know there's, there's, they're cramming a lot in. They might, yes. there could, there, there's definitely some problems with it. I wish they hadn't walked back all the shit from Last Jedi, but it's still a fucking enjoyable movie. Maybe ease back on the importance of friends because they kind of hammered that one every other scene. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of the, all right, but <laughs> well, we only did this because we're friends. Well, we were friends. It's because of our, all right, we know Got you're it. friends. I know. We get it. I still fucking had fun still with it. Still loved it. Still had fun with it. That f- I didn't even realize yeah. that I love you, I know callback. I thought he was just going to say, Dad, I'm sorry. Still had fun with it. And, and then that, the way that's ended, and then the way Mandalorian's going, and I'm looking forward to Obi-Wan. And that R.I.P. Star Wars shit, they're out of their fucking They minds. can all eat dicks. They can all they can eat, eat all them. the dicks. They can eat all... What? I just realized. What? Holy shit. What? Obi-Wan. Yeah. Baby Yoda's being born around the time this show happens, right? Or even well, after? No, Baby Yoda's 50 years old. So he's around during this Obi-Wan show. He's around. Wonder if Obi-Wan's... Man, why not? That's there could their, be a tie-in there. That's her face of the but franchise Obi, But now. I think Baby Yoda predates episode one. Right. 50 years. But Obi-Wan is happening, obviously, sometime between... Same time as a Mandalorian? No, Mandalorian's oh, after Mandalorian Return of the after. Jedi. That's right. That's so right, Baby right. Yoda's... Baby Yoda's probably 20 years old, 30, 35 years old during the Obi-Wan show, during the Obi-Wan 30, 25, something I like that. I wonder if there's a moment where Obi-Wan escorts him to somewhere safe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Because I also want to find out at the begin episode one of Mandalorian, where was this thing? Why were all these people surrounding it? A lot of, were they good or bad? Were they good or bad? There was a bounty on it to go get it. How come? Like, who were these people protecting this, and why were they, they protecting it? They didn't seem it? like good guys. No, but who, why were, were they, they having? I, it? I wonder if they were black marketing. Did it. they kidnap it? Yeah, were they black marketing the thing? Was the thing originally with uh, Herzog's character, right? And they stole it from him, or did they steal it from Moff Gideon? Or they stole so Moff much Ge- to Oh, it? maybe they stole it from Moff Gideon. Shit, fuck, dude. Moff Gids? Do we see Moff Gideon in the Obi series? Right. I don't fuck, dude. I'm excited about Star Wars. If you think R.I.P. Star Wars, you're, you're fucking, out of your fucking you're mind. You're a fucking idiot. There's too much going on now. 
Go suck all the And dicks. then if Filoni and Favreau get the next trilogy, dude. and then Ryan Johnson still makes his trilogy, R.I.P. Star Wars and go fuck itself right fuck, up its ass. Dude. I ain't worried. Never been more excited for Star Wars than Yeah, I, it really, I ain't worried. But there we go. That, that's a good way to end it, right? That was good. That was good. We're right at 45. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love you all. Thank all you so much. All sing, everybody. All legs. All the legs quakes sing. Quakes quakes a day. Uh, Darren McGregor for Ramble 215. Could you explain all Lun Sing to us? Please? Yeah, dude. Is if you're out something? there, if you're listening, or is he like that? We don't even fucking sing that. Anymore. Yeah, I don't know. Is that just what dumb Since Americans sing. Scottish. Sing? That's all. Since they probably stopped singing like 200 years ago. They give a fuck. They didn't like old shit. Right when the guy wrote it, they probably killed him. Why'd you write this stupid this is shit? Fucking stupid song. They fucking hung him. Everybody fucked his dead body in front of his kids. So they wouldn't <laughs> write any other poems. <laughs> <laughs> like, look. They William Wallace them all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, why not? Yeah. Just saying. Right. Remember, last beep. Happy, happy, happy New, New Year, Year, guys. Happy New we Year. Love you so much. <laughs>